A few days ago, Veronica Neve celebrated her 50th birthday, and the greatest gift she received was that doctors hadn't yet diagnosed her with cancer. Sounds strange, doesn't it? But in the Neve family, being healthy is rare because so many of them have been cursed with the BRCA2 cancer gene. Unluckily for her, Veronica does carry the gene, but unlike her sister, mother, father, aunt, grandmother, and great-grandmother, who have all died from cancer, she remains fit and well. And while she's surviving and thriving, she's determined to honour her family by helping others. If anyone deserves champagne and chocolate for their birthday, it's Veronica Neve. But this is no ordinary birthday. It's a double celebration, because Veronica is the first woman in her family to reach the big 5-0 without the big C. Happy birthday, dear Veronica. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank and you. May I be the first to congratulate you on getting there without cancer interfering. I know. Isn't that a strange celebratory thing? It's awesome. Strange? Well, yeah, I mean, what, who marks their 50th birthday with, yes, I got here without getting a cancer diagnosis? Like, it's an odd thing to, to have achieved. Turning 50 cancer-free is truly the best present Veronica could hope for. Her eldest sister, Chrissy wasn't so lucky, diagnosed with bowel cancer before she reached the same age. That's incredible. Isn't that good cake? So you're in remission now? You're, yeah. you're OK? Two years. Do you have any anxiety going forward? Um, she does. I probably she do. She said, I will die of cancer. It will come back. That's what you said to me. You said cancer always comes back. Yeah. But I'm not fearful more of that. I just don't want my, my kids, my grandkids and my brothers and sisters and my husband to have to go through this. It's a harsh reality the Neve sisters live in. But today is a good day. And with brother Denny, they're enjoying time with loved ones who are here while remembering those who aren't. Let's just raise a glass to Ronnie and in memory of Dad, Mum and Alicia. Cheers. 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 The last few years have been utterly exhausting for Veronica and Chrissy, who, like little sister Alicia, inherited the insidious BRCA2 gene. It's hard to fathom so much loss in one family and all the same way. In 2013, their father Colin died from liver cancer while Alicia was battling ovarian cancer. Then, a year after her death, their mother Claudette passed away from breast cancer. And this was long after cancer already claimed the lives of their grandmother, great-grandmother and aunt. It was just such a heavy time. Three people were dying of cancer in the one house when I was looking after them and three people on cancer treatment, so that's ugly, you know. How are you feeling, Christine? A bit nervous. Diagnosed with the BRCA2 gene in 2008, Veronica and Chrissy made the agonising decision to have hysterectomies and their breasts removed. I don't even think about it. Yeah. At the time, youngest sister Alicia was 30. She was a mum to son Jack, so she delayed the preventative surgery. But just four years later, she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. So I had the dream of having more children, so I wanted my ovaries. So I thought I'd just wait a couple of years. Alicia's brother, Denny, who doesn't carry the BRCA2 gene, has somehow mustered strength, time after time, to nurse his family through a dreaded curse. You've got to mourn, you've got to grieve, you've got to accept, um, and eventually, you know, move on. Uh, moving on's the hard part, you know. I've still got, still got my mum, my dad, and my sister's telephone numbers in my mobile phone. So, you know, um, I haven't quite moved all the way on. You know, it's just one last thing. You don't want to delete that last little 
you know, cookie crumb. Denny has formed a strong, almost brotherly bond with Alicia's partner, Brendan. She's the love of my life, and I hope that goes on for a lifetime. The two men have now created a website called Entrusted, which is designed to help people cope with terminal illness. So Entrusted is a website where people can come and manage their entire end of life experience. There's a virtual vault there where people can upload important documents so that they don't get lost. The website came about after Alicia's death. Her son Jack was just 10 and her financial affairs were a mess. But out of nowhere came a touch of good fortune when a former neighbour from Perth tracked Chrissy down and passed on some of Alicia's old mail. And I opened it and it said, you have X amount of weeks to pay this premium in order for your insurance policies to still be valid. So we paid the premium and then we rang them up uh, and they said, yeah, you have these policies that are still valid. That premium was for an old life insurance policy Alicia forgot she owned. It meant Jack, who's now 15, received a healthy payout. And although he still misses his mum, he's doing his best to move forward. Taking such a big hit at a young age, I reckon it'll help me be more prepared when I get older. Veronica and Chrissy still face uncertain futures, but remarkably, despite so many dark days, they remain optimistic. And they're doing their own bit. I reckon you've got to be in it. You've totally got to be in it. They've set up a charity called Beauty's Feeling Fabulous, which gives makeovers and wellness treatments to cancer sufferers. It's their way of honouring and remembering their beautiful sister. <laughs> so that's, that's one way I can still keep her alive through, um, through giving back, because she was such a giver of her heart, and I just think that this is continuing that.